Clark Expedition. Uh, they saw early on that I had a lot of potential, so they made me an officer. And they sent me off as a, a, uh, on a number of excursions on my own and as a leader of even some of the older, more experienced men. Um, after a couple years, though, I decided that, you know, I'd met some Native Americans. I had, I had uh, run into some other trappers. And I kind of got this itch to go off on my own and do some of the things that they were doing. And so I convinced Lewis and Clark that I had done my military duty. They released me with, a di with an honorable discharge, and I took off. And I ended up out in the, uh, in the Yellowstone region. In fact, I'm considered to be the first white man to have ever seen Yellowstone region of the country. And out there, I hooked up with the uh, Crow. And the Crow were friends. They were friendly in there. And so we were able to we uh, worked together, trading and trapping. And a friend of mine, another man by the name of Potts, joined us. Unfortunately, the Sioux Indian, which were also out there, were mortal enemies of the Crow. And since they were mortal enemies of the Crow, and Potts and I were friends with the Crow, that made us mortal enemies too. So at one point during a battle with the Crow, Potts was killed and I was captured. And they told me that they would release me, though, on one condition. And that condition was that I could outrun all of their braves. So I said, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> and so they fired an arrow and said, that's your head start. And I said, okay, I'll take that. And the last part, of course, you guys know, they stripped me of my clothes and made me go running naked through the snow. And I was like, okay, whatever, you know, because it's better to have an opportunity to run free. You don't have that one. And so I took off running. And it seemed like I ran for days. It was, well, actually, when I hit that arrow, I looked back over my shoulder, and it looked like a thousand braves were chasing me. <laughs> and so I kept running. And like I said, it seemed like I ran for days. And every day I'd look back, there was a few, you know, fewer and fewer of them, until finally there was one left. One brave still chasing me. He was getting awful close. And so I was, finally, I was able to disarm him. I jumped him and disarmed him and killed him with his own spear. And then you know what I did? I took his clothes because it's cold running naked through the snow. <laughs> so that's John Coulter's story. Ah, thank you. Uh,